Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, get ready, get to your phones right now, because caller number 20 is going to win a $500 gift card to Comixology. That's right. That all Everything in that sentence is absolutely, uh, totally, totally true. Anyway, uh, let's get to this, uh, let's get to this bell. Silver Age reference mistaken for woke propaganda. Well, that sounds like that. It says, hey Perch, hey, I posted a tweet about uh, someone on a site making the assumption that Batman Superman, world's finest number 18, referencing the pre-crisis term Kryptonese, is somehow a woke attempt at adding Asian influence to Kryptonian lore and not Mark Wade being a Silver Age fanboy putting nods to that era in comics. Wait, what? The, it's, it's, Kryptonese has is, is always been what they call it. They call it that... I, I'm, Maybe not in the movies. They've called it in the cartoons. It's been Kryptonese forever. Anyway. Uh, okay, I think that's actually this guy's point. Now that I'm... The, the, my, now the brain is slowly working, and uh, I'm referencing the, the title there. It says, I know it's just some morons online. <laughs> yeah, I ain't mean, sure. But I'm just amazed, annoyed, at how people can have their brains so rotted by this culture war nonsense that they somehow assume a pre-crisis reference is part of some woke propaganda. What's your take on this? Hope you and your family have a lovely Christmas. How dare you say Christmas? That is uh, not politically correct. I'm I'm joking. Um, it, it uh, look, uh, um, there's probably a good science fiction uh, book in there somewhere about how kind of uh, people got after you know there there was like there there was this idea that came out and people really outraged about it, like like the comic stuff. And then that idea got so powerful it started to actually eat backward in time to you know alter and change history. Um look, I, so it, you know, this is one of those like you you probably heard this argument. Like people are like, hey, we want comics to not be political like they used to be. You know, we we comics used to be great, now they're too political. We we want comics to be like they used to be. And then the counter argument of like comics have always been political. And then both sides just kind of take out their dicks and they just kind of pee all over everything. And then, uh, you know, eventually somebody takes it too far and actually takes a dump there. And then, then at Arby's, that's how an Arby's is born. Um, I'm, I'm joking. Uh, well, not really. Um, it, it, like anything with extremes, um, I think it's really easy if you're just kind of intellectually honest with yourself to spot the stuff that's eye rollingly kind of sermonized type comics. You know, we, we, there's been these comments like, I've never seen a single panel like that. Oh, yes, you have. Yes, we we have. In recent days, we have definitely seen that kind of, you know, very strange insertion of current events, current terminology, other things. It's really no different than like, uh, you know, suddenly in the 90s, several of the X-Men are all into skateboarding and they're all like radical tubular. Like there is there is a clip out there of, uh, you know, you know, at Jubilee saying those things make sense. That's her character. But, you know, Gambit going tubular is, uh, is, is cringe, flat out cringe. I'm sorry if you're, you know, child of the nineties, you know, that that's lame. It's cringe. Um, just like today when you get, um, I don't know, it, like in the middle of a comic story, um, you get, uh, people going, okay, you know, they're having a fight and then like, hey, my pronouns is they there. And, and and you're like, this this villain is trying to murder hundreds of people. You wouldn't be explaining your pronouns like, you know, and we've seen some of that in, in a lot of the kind of the anthology books. And, and every now and then it pops up. I mean, not the hot girl book had had dialogue like that. It was just like, what the F, you know, it just it. But if again, if you're intellectually honest with yourself, it just reads bad. Whether you agree with the politics or you don't agree with the politics, whether you're pronoun person or non-pronoun person or or whatever, you know, there's just it 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 it's just it it reads eye rollingly bad, and and it's true, eye rollingly bad, too close to the times. Just bad writing has always existed in comics. Um, today, if we're talking about the current kind of eye rollingly bad politics commentary that goes in you know it's it like what was the it was a spider gwen annual and they had a modoc that looked like trump and you read that and I've, I've talked about this in the past it just looks cringe is the right word it just looks cringy 
it it doesn't age well. It it's lame. And you know, and, and so defending that is by saying, no, 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 there's always been kind of lame stuff like this in comics. Well, okay, I could agree to that comment, but no, there hasn't always been this like we're going to uh intentionally poke one side of the political aisle with really lame references. No, that that has definitely increased for sure. For sure. Saying, you know, the Modoc Trump is equivalent to Captain America punching Hitler is very those are very, very different things. Now, if you happen to think that Trump is Hitler, I get that you might see those those as more or less the same, but you know, it it's not. At the same time, if, again, if you're being intellectually honest with yourself, you know, the Kryptonese and some of the stuff, people are like pulling things from uh, to to me it's no different. Than people pulling, uh, you know, panels from the 1960s X-Men and going, see, look, Bobby said it girls when he was 12. He's clearly gay. That that is a warped read of that panel, just like, you know, comics saying the the Kryptonese is some kind of woke Asian. Att- like that's that's just that that's dumb. And I don't know, your mileage may vary. But for me, I like continuity. So one of the things Mark Wade does quite well, again, whether you love the guy or you hate the guy, one of the things he does is he does go back and read comics and then try and insert a lot of stuff from the past into the books. In other words, he does respect and try and curate continuity. And last time I checked, a lot of us wanted that. I certainly want that. I, I, I want this stuff to matter. So if, if the book, and this is one of the reasons for me, again, your mileage may vary, um, I don't like things like having, you know, Modoc Trump, because if I adhere to the rules and laws of continuity, that means that at some point in the future, we're going to see another Modoc Trump, or at least they're going to go down through a Modoc factory and are going to get Trump Modocs hanging around because it's in the universe now. It exists. And if, if so, when you insert this stuff casually, when you put in uh, kind of weird little, you know, sermons into your books, it has the consequence of getting into the canon. And then now, you know, future writers are, are either going to have to ignore it, which I hate, or reference it, which is just giving the bad idea more life. So I, I do think there's a, you know, this is why I think comic. I mean, I've, I've said this over and over and over and over before. I think comics should be Greenfield uh, as much as possible. They should be timeless as much as possible now not all books if you're specifically doing some image title that is currently referencing you know an era then fine if you're you know you're tom king and you're doing the rorschach series and it's very much a kind of gumshoe product against times fine again you know knock yourself out but if you're doing the mainline superhero universe it works best when it is relatively timeless so that decades later, if it's still going, you're not you don't have this this weird social baggage hanging around your neck. When we say social, you know, that, when we say social baggage. I mean, you know, dumb little in jokes. By the way, I don't want to see a zombie Biden running around either. Like that, no, nobody wants to see this shit. I didn't like it when they had, uh, you know. I I mean, I wasn't a big fan when Mark Grunwald threw Ronald Reagan into Captain America. You know, I, you know, I, it, with the ultimate book, ah, that kind of worked. That was contemporary. Mark Miller put uh, George Bush in uh, the ultimates. All right. I could, I could go for that because again, the, the title fit that. But for the mainline books, I, it just, again, it, it doesn't make any sense. Didn't like it when Barack Obama showed up in Thunderbolts. Um, I, you know, I, nobody wants to see this. Well, I don't know. I don't want to see this stuff. But I also don't want to, to the letter writer, I, I know I got a little off topic there, but um, the culture war has rotted people's minds on all fronts, by the way. Anyone with a straight face who's going to defend, you know, a Modoc Trump is, uh, they, they're high. You, you, you've, you've, gone, you've gone too far. Similarly, if you are now like reaching back into the past and throwing out terms that are, you know, that this, this must be a result of, Mark Wade's woke agenda. Again, you've you've lost the plot. At some point, you you have definitely, you know, you you you're not you're not doing yourself any good. I think there are plenty of examples of cringy, dumb, current 
writing that you can wrap your head around. You do not need to uh, you know, retroactively go back into the past. And certainly if a current writer references the past, that again, that is a good thing. That's what a lot of us have been wanting as opposed to uh, something to you know, throw a fit about. But anyway, that's my opinion. Uh, Kryptonese. It, it, in all seriousness, like, who the fuck is worrying about this? Or, or, like, when you're, when, when you're at the point of complaining about Kryptonese as a term in a panel, I, I just, I feel like you're, you know, I, I see, at that point, you're digging so hard for that outrage. I, I mean, you kind of deserve all the insults that come your way, I, I think, at that point. Again, there, there's plenty of huge examples of things that are eye-rollingly terrible. Uh, we don't need to invent new ones. Thanks for listening.